High blood pressure is super common these days. Millions of people around the world deal with it every single day. Now, doctors usually prescribe medication to help manage it, but they'll also tell you to make some changes to your lifestyle. And one of the biggest things they'll mention? Your diet. But eating healthy isn't just about food. Drinking enough water is part of it. Seriously, staying hydrated makes a difference. If you're not drinking enough water, your body can get dehydrated. And that can actually throw off your blood pressure more than you might think. In this video, we'll break down what dehydration really is, how it affects your blood pressure, and how much water you should be drinking each day to stay on balanced. Let's get into it. Before we go any further, let's break down what dehydration really is. Here's something that might surprise you. The average adult body is made up of about 60% water. And that water isn't just there to keep you from feeling thirsty. It's working hard behind the scenes. Water is the main building block of your cells, and it plays a vital role in almost everything your body does. It helps regulate your temperature, keeps your joints moving smoothly, supports digestion and swallowing, flushes out toxins through your kidneys, and even cushions your brain and other vital organs. According to the U.S. Geological Survey and the Mayo Clinic, staying hydrated is absolutely essential to keeping your body systems running smoothly. Because when you're dehydrated, things can fall out of balance fast, including your blood pressure. So, what are the symptoms of dehydration? When your body starts running low on fluids, it gives off some pretty noticeable warning signs. You might feel dizzy, confused, or just unusually tired, and you might not even know why. According to the Mayo Clinic, that's because your brain and muscles aren't getting the hydration they need to function properly. Another common sign? A dry mouth and feeling thirsty. In fact, WebMD says thirst is often the very first way your body tries to tell you something's off. But here's something a lot of people don't realize. As we get older, our sense of thirst becomes less reliable. A study from the National Institutes of Health found that older adults may not even feel thirsty, even when they're already dehydrated. That's what makes dehydration more risky as we age. It often goes unnoticed. Another warning sign to look out for. You're not peeing as often. And when you do, your urine is darker than usual. It means your kidneys don't have enough fluid to flush out toxins efficiently, which the Mayo Clinic also highlights as a dehydration symptom. Severe dehydration isn't just about feeling thirsty. It can lead to serious problems like seizures, kidney damage, or hypovolemic shock. And that's backed by experts, including Healthline and the Mayo Clinic. So, what's the link between dehydration and blood pressure? Well, the science behind it is actually pretty fascinating. Let's take a closer look. When you're dehydrated, your blood volume drops. And with less fluid in your bloodstream, your heart has to work harder to pump blood through your body. To make up for that, your blood vessels might tighten, which can cause your blood pressure to go up or sometimes even drop. It really depends on how your body responds. Now, scientists have been digging deeper into this. A 2023 review found that even short-term dehydration can interfere with how your blood vessels work and how your body keeps your blood pressure in check. In other words, if you're dehydrated too often, it could slowly put extra stress on your heart and circulation over time. And here's something even more interesting. In a study done in coastal Bangladesh and published by the American Heart Association, researchers looked at what happens when people drink slightly salty water, but not the kind you're thinking of. This water was naturally rich in minerals like calcium and magnesium. And guess what? The people who drank that mineral-rich water had a small but noticeable drop in their blood pressure. On average, their systolic pressure, that's the top number, went down by about 1.55 millimeters of mercury. And their diastolic pressure, the bottom number, dropped by 1.26 millimeters of mercury. So it's not just about staying hydrated. Drinking mineral-rich water might actually help keep your blood pressure in check. When you're not getting enough water, things can go wrong pretty quickly. Research shows that losing just 1 to 2% of your body's fluids, what we call mild dehydration, 
can already affect how you feel and perform. It can even throw off your coordination, especially during physical activity or when you're out in the heat. And now, how much water should you really be drinking? You've probably heard the classic advice, drink eight glasses of water a day. But here's the thing, it's not a one-size-fits-all rule. How much water you actually need depends on a bunch of factors. Your age, gender, weight, how active you are, and even the weather. According to the U.S. National Academies of Sciences, women should aim for about 11.5 cups of fluids a day, and men should shoot for around 15.5 cups. And no, it's not just plain water. That includes drinks like tea, milk, and even the water you get from fruits and veggies. Now quick heads up, alcohol doesn't count. In fact, it does the opposite, it dehydrates you. So if you're enjoying a drink, try to follow the one-to-one -one rule. One glass of water for every alcoholic drink. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to Blood Pressure Healthcare for more tips on managing and maintaining healthy blood pressure. Stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.